Okay. All right. Split these things down to where you got a got something to work with here. All right. Let's see. When we make this back up, we're going to be able to take our inverter right here and plug it straight into our cord right there, and it's going to hang right back here with all of our components. And so it's all one unit. When you take your box and put it up, you can roll your cord up and throw it on the inside, but we'll demonstrate that later. All right, I'm going to get everything skinned up here and get it all ready to put together, and we'll show you how that thermostat gets set up, and, uh, and we'll be back in just a minute. All right, folks, we've uh, cut our extension cord, flipped it over, and we just twist the, the leads together upside down like this right here. You're going to take your black wires, twist them together, white wires, twist them together on the back of your light bulbs. Doesn't matter which side here, you just pick a side, put these together, get, get a wire nut, twist it on until it's good and snug. All right, I took the wiring harness that I told you about with the two wires in it. Here, wire color doesn't matter. I just pushed it through the hole here, going to the inside where the thermostat is at. See right here, where I pull, pull them through right here. Okay, see right in here where the harness is pushed through right here? Here, wire color doesn't matter. These two wires, one wire is going to hook up to one side of the thermostat. Other one is going to hook up to the other side. I'll probably use solderless terminals in here instead of wire nuts. Ain't no need in showing you guys that, but that's how one's going to hook up to one side, one's going to hook up to the other. Wire color doesn't matter. Okay, move back out right here. So what you're going to do is one side of the thermostat right here, doesn't matter which side, so we'll just, since I got a white wire, we'll put it together here, but it doesn't matter. And we'll put a wire nut on it here. Twist this together. You see what we're doing here. This is the other side of our light bulb assembly. This wire runs in to the thermostat to one side, and this is the wire that comes out. This wire is going to hook up to the other side of your power source right here like this. We'll get a wire nut. And twist it on just like this I see this is where now when we plug this up this is going to power everything when you plug this up everything's going to be powered inside the box when you plug that up then you can just take this plug it up for your fan and we'll which we'll fix this up real nice and we'll put something to hold these wires but it's just going to hang right back here in the back so it's all one unit get to that next point. I think we about get everything. We're going to come around and put pop some wireless terminals on that uh, thermostat on the inside and uh, we'll see if everything works. Be back in just a minute. Guys, I wanted to make this point right here. If you're going to use a water heater thermostat, this is what you're going to get right here. Get it from Lowe's. This is the upper water heater thermostat. This is what I use in several of my incubators have these in here. If you're using this, uh, then uh, it's going to mount in the same spot is the GQF. I'm going to pull this thing out of the package and kind of give you a little bit better idea of how I would mount this thing in here where I'm using this. Be back in just a minute. Alright guys, let me see if I can get this thing open with one hand here. Here we go. Alright. If you were going to mount this in there, you would mount it right here, right here where this thermostat is at. You would mount it in here, metal side out right here between these bulbs just like this and see where the uh, spot here where your, where your uh, wires mount see these two wires right here where they are the wires that come out from uh, the uh, the harness that comes out the black and the uh, white wire right here that runs out to the main power source uh, we talked about that earlier in the video one of these wires is going to hook up on this side, the other wire is going to hook up on the other side. You just wrap the wire around it, tighten it down, turn it around. Make sure you drill your quarter inch hole uh, through your incubator, just like uh, just like we drilled for the wires to come through. You're going to, want to drill another hole to uh, to be able to adjust your water heater thermostat. And very important, you want to mount it to where the metal side is out. Glue it 
to your box or use industrial strength Velcro to where the hole, your adjusting hole, lines up with your adjustment screw. All right. Okay, folks, we got everything wired up. I've got the fan plugged up, got everything plugged up in the back. I'm fixing to plug it in. We're going to do a power up test to see if everything comes on before we proceed here. So let me see, get this right. Plug it up. There we go. Both bulbs are on, fan is running. So that lets us know everything is wired up correct. And uh, so we've still got to put our glass in the top right there. And I've got to put some vent holes around the top and the bottom. And, uh, and then we'll put together our turner. I'll show you a way this holds 30 eggs. And we'll put together a, a turner to go in this thing right here also. Be back in a minute. All right, folks. We didn't got to the point now. This is a recovered piece of glass. This come off of an old incubator that we had built. It's just plastic glass. It's plastic. Works really good. It's a little dirty. We're going to clean it up. But uh, since the bulbs, see here, and our incubator has mount, are mounted on the back side right there, we're going to mount, got our plexiglass cut where we can mount it right here on the front of the box whenever we cut this out. The way I do it, I'll mark it right here and then I'll take my drill bit, a quarter inch drill bit, and I'll drill in each corner right here. Once I draw out where this needs to be, where my jigsaw, where I can drop my jigsaw blade in here and cut this out. Watching all that's going to be real boring, but that's how I do it. So we're going to go ahead and cut this hole out and we'll be right back in just a minute. Okay guys, see here's where I took the measurements for my points for my plexiglass. What you want to make sure of, let me see what I do with my plex. Here we go. It's whenever I marked it, you need to make sure that you leave enough to go inside your plexiglass for where you run your bead of sealant so it's going to catch the top of your box. See? You want to make sure it runs on the inside of your glass right here. See, I've got all this around the outer perimeter right here to run my bead of sealant right here. So what we've got is, uh, I drilled my four holes here. I've already cut, cut those. So we got the holes here. So we can drop the, the jigsaw right in. All right. We've got our hole cut out for our... We're going to knock that out. We're going to get a bead of sealant on our glass, and we'll be right back. All righty, guys. Uh, once we get all this cut out, I want to clean your edges up a little bit and what I usually do is I just usually take a little box cutter like this right here and just like a just like a whittling knife just run down the side like this right here see and it'll take it'll take all this stuff off just like that like that just like that Wanted to kind of give you all an idea how I clean up these edges on this stuff. Makes it look nicer. Helps that glue stick better too. All right, not complicated at all. We're going to get the bead put on the, our sealant put on the glass. We're going to see if we can get it set on here. Be right back. All right, guys. I'm going to see if we can do this. I hope I got enough sealant in here to run me a run me a bead all the way across it. It's almost gone, but I think we're going to have enough to do it. I knew it was going to be close. It was going to be close, but we got it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, take my heavy, this drill is pretty heavy, so I'm going to take this and set it right here on this glass to hold it down right there and let that permatex take about 10-15 minutes to cure 
We'll be back then. That all.